Okay, this quick video is going to show some fundamentals, some basics of what we're working on with the kiosk proposal for Baja Fresh. First thing I want to point out is these are the graphics that we came up with just as uh, temporary graphics, something that we could try to get the system to recognize and to utilize. We built the Baja Fresh kiosk model within in an existing database just like we will do for the restaurant and then we'll make it live in its own right uh, but first step was to build just a, a different set of screens that we could get to through through a alternative screen one that's not used very often one that uh, your employees won't see we'll probably go through like a manager screen and just take up a little button on the very bottom left okay so what we try to do is this would be the login screen okay for the customer on the kiosk uh, ideally you would have this image where all the black area is and then the baja fresh logo would be on there of course that image would be customizable once we're able to get it working underneath the baja fresh logo or somewhere in the lower right corner or in the middle wherever we would have a button and it would just simply say start or go or you know or Ole or whatever. And that would take us <clears throat> to a different screen, which would look something like this. Uh, this would be the food main screen. And we tried as closely as possible, which isn't too close, but we tried to replicate the general feeling of the online ordering uh, in order to, so the customer doesn't have to learn a whole other system. In that, you've got your seven different main areas. <clears throat> These would be burritos, tacos, soups, salads, things like that. Um, don't mind these headers. These are just headers that we were using. Further on, this would be the order section. This is where things like the burritos will show up once they're ordered. Uh, you also get a total down in the lower right here. And these, this black area in the lower right-hand side of the screen is where your cash tender keys would be. Not cash, but your charge tender keys might be as well as any kind of navigation keys. Uh, if we needed to go back and look at the check or if the customer needed to go back to add or subtract a beverage, something like that. So the other thing we did is we did do a dummy screen for burritos. The burrito screen again is modeled after the, after the online uh, ordering uh, with your back button to get to the main menu. And then you've got your your main menu items, okay? your burritos, your salad mains, uh, things of that nature. And once one is chosen, then it goes into our condiment selection. And this would walk you through the same choices that you would have on the online ordering. Try to re replicate that as much as possible. And uh, you just have to make the choices that you want and simply hit done. It seems very intuitive to people like you and I that are in the restaurant business. Um, it remains to be seen how intuitive it would be to an actual customer that's not used to it. As Ami pointed out to me today, they would have the menu board right above them, uh, which would help tremendously because one thing that we're unable to do is I cannot justify these, the Baja Burrito, the title, I cannot justify it to the left, I cannot justify it to the right, and I cannot add any more text than what we're looking at right there. I can make the, the buttons smaller. If I did that, then we'd have a tremendous amount of empty space here. And again, we're gonna try and put, incorporate a picture of fresh produce or something as a video overlay on this, which would essentially sit underneath the buttons and um, give us a little more pop, a little more pizzazz on this screen. Okay, and that's what we've got so far. Um, not particularly exciting and fresh, but uh, some of the things that go into it that Ami and I spoke about, and Ami, this is kind of a further thing to kind of walk you through it, is we'll be um, doing something like Tablet 01 is how I started out, and we'll be setting up devices, workstations, order devices, menus, touch screens, uh, transactions, um, all of the transaction revenue centers, um, we'll all have to be set up, and that'll be the first step.
is getting the bones put together. And then once we do that, we'll get a couple of, like, probably go through the burrito menu and get that all figured out. And then after the burrito menu is done, so we have something to work off of, then we'll go back and we'll say, okay, we need to get the, the video design elements put together here to make this a little more appealing. And uh, that's what I propose. So uh, please let me know.